Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. So today we're talking about finding your life rhythm and what does that look like? There's the concept of the Stanford duck. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but it's the duck on the surface, like chill, right? And underneath there, ah, paddling, 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 paddling. Um, and I've been there with you guys, right? Trying to just keep my head above the water. Like, don't, don't, don't go down too far. Uh, but with that, I want to have all my ducks in a row. And I try to jump to the next duck, not enjoying the process or trying to figure out what that looks like to be in, in this life kind of rhythm and figuring it out and not following what feels good to me and knowing that it's okay to be in that situation where you are maybe trying to stay cool and calm and collected on the top and you're paddling like crazy, but you don't necessarily have to have it that way. We can kind of get into a pattern where we're beating to our own drum, our own life rhythm. This month of March has all been kind of figuring out what that looks like for us. And today is Tuesday, so we get to choose what we want that to look like moving forward. Do we want to be the duck that is still paddling you know, crazy underneath, just trying to keep themselves stable? Or can we kind of be more like the duck that's in the lazy river, right? Like, yeah, I'm just kind of chill, doing my thing, doing what's working best for me, right? That's where we get to choose. So I'm going to share with you some tips on finding our life rhythm. Uh, some of this you're probably going to be like, yeah, but it's always good to have this reminder and to recognize that the more we flex these muscles, the more we kind of fall into the rhythm that's best for us. So the first one is to establish a routine. Yes, yeah, set a time for waking up. Yeah, set a time for going to sleep. Have a bedtime as an adult. Figure out what you want to eat. What does that look like for you? What is that uh, exercise routine? Establish those routines that keep you in that rhythm and keep you focused in having that time that you can rest and recoup and regenerate and you're doing the best you can for yourself. The second one is to prioritize, identify what's most important to you, right? Focus on that task that's right in front of you. Don't be the duck that's twirling in a big circle because you can't figure out what direction to go into. Like, oh, I do want to go this way. Let me prioritize paddling in that direction. Three, take some breaks. It's okay to be the duck floating on the lazy river, right? Allow yourself that time to rest and recharge throughout the day. We definitely need that. Um, and that's going to be our focus of April. Just a little, little uh, preview of that. We're going to talk about pausing and resting all next month. The fourth one is to listen to your body. This is really, really important, right? Pay attention to what you're physically feeling. What are those emotional needs? And adjust accordingly. We don't have to keep muscling through. We don't have to be the ducks swimming for, you know, just going, going, going and paddling crazy Ooh, I need a break. Like hop out of the water if you have to, right? You don't have to stay in the water of, you know, trying to keep your head above water. I can just get out of the water and take this break and listen to my body. The fifth one is to be flexible. Life is unpredictable, right? We have to be flexible in our routine and to realize that sometimes the rhythm's going to get all kind of wonky and we fall off the beat and we're just clapping and not sure where we're clapping, right? Be willing to adapt um, as needed with all this. The sixth one is to practice self-care. I'm a huge advocate on taking care of ourselves, making time for those activities that kind of fuel our physical body and give ourselves that time to recoup that way. But don't forget about your soul care as well, right? What brings you joy? What brings that time of relaxation? And then we want to surround ourselves with those supportive people. Seek out those relationships that encourage and inspire us. Remember, this is our own personal journey. We get to choose. Sometimes we got to experiment, figure out what works for us. What is that rhythm we want to follow? Can we get our self paddling as that duck in that, that nice rhythm instead of just kind of all over the place? You get to choose. Uh, and I hope you guys do choose uh, to join us tomorrow. It's our monthly connection call in uh, the HEAL community. That's going to happen at 6 p.m. Uh, links will be put out uh, tomorrow, but join us. There is a chance to have a, a quick little uh, laser coaching call. If there's something that you really do need support with, I'm available to help you. That way, as always, I'm Ann, your well-being coach, um, guiding those of us that are needing to heal from burnout. Uh, so we do more than just survive. We actually thrive. So get out there and thrive. Get to that point where you're having that healthy, enjoyable, abundant life. 
hope to see everyone uh, tomorrow and I'll see you next week for Tuesday.